Today we are off to review another property, uh, a jungle lodges inside the Karnataka's Nagar Holi National Park. Um, if you have already watched my previous video, you would know uh, where I'm taking you to because it calls out jungle safari through Nagar Holi National Park. Today there are n number of luxury properties um, within this national park and some of them are listed here but I'm loyal to only one of them in this uh, boat that is listed because any hardcore while ever would definitely go to this place in Kabini. Uh, before that let me pick up my uh, rental lens from Toho. Toehold is at Karapura Circle and uh, it's right before you enter into the Kapini uh, or the Nagar Holi National Park. You can either reserve your lens and go pick it up from here or if you're lucky you will be able to find a lens that best suits your camera from here as well. Well, Karapura Circle is the last stop if you come through a public transport. I tried this bus but um, it gets difficult because from here your property has to pick up and you don't have a direct bus from Bangalore you would have to come all the way to Mysore and from Mysore you would have to take a bus to um, Karpura circle so best is to have your own vehicle right we are at Kabini River Lodge by Jungle Lodges and Resorts. The best thing about staying in uh, Kabini River Lodge by Jungle Lodges and Resorts in short, I will be calling it JLR. Uh, so the best thing about these resorts, they take care of your safari and forest entry fees. But if you have a, a lens, uh, depending upon the MM, the price is going to vary for entry into the forest. But these lodges uh, otherwise take care of your food, stay and safari. British bungalows. Um, obviously, they have developed few cottages and tent sections as well, but the rooms and the overall structure still retains that of British bungalows. So, Kabini or Nagarhole National Park itself were hunting grounds of the British once upon a time, and even um, the Mysore Maharaja, the Wadayars, were uh, doing the same along with the Britishers. But then at some point they decided to convert uh, into a conservation area. The Maharaja was like, I'm giving up all the farmlands. There's a huge teak plantation you can see in the while going in the jungle safari. Set. So the Maharaja was like, no more tiger hunting and no more um, farming. Let's conserve this area for the wildlife. Um, not always to look on tiger's perspective but for wildlife to flourish and uh, that is how these British bungalows are now maintained for tourists like us to visit um, while maintaining the yesteryear charm. So throughout the building you'll see a lot of photographs of how this whole place was and uh, how the Britishers used to frequent here. person we need to be appreciative of when we are at um, Kabini is Papa Jones. He is 
Colonel John Felix Wakefield and people fondly call him as Papa Jones. So this was the first time in my three years of visit I got to know him as well because he passed away a couple of years uh, back and now his legacy uh, is written all around the Wakefield Bar. You can um, see how he contributed to the wildlife conservation. This was not his first stint to begin with and uh, today till date they have maintained um, the chair that he used to sit listening to uh, every woe that people would bring in around Kabini River Lodge. So whatever Kabini River Lodge today is, he played a major role in it. Kabini River Lodge, the property itself is huge. They have three categories of rooms primarily and what you're seeing is the tent. The tents um, are the cheapest but this is quite comfortable like a room. Uh, easily three people can accommodate inside uh, a tent and the washroom is also equally big. So since this is the cheapest option, it gets sold out uh, very quickly um, of my three or four visits only once I've got to stay in the tent The other category of room available are these Maharaja cottages. So if you are a big family, this really helps. It's very spacious. You have the bed, there is also a side bed. This is a old picture that I took. And some of the cottages are actually river facing. So there are plenty of trees before the cottages, but still um, you get a considerable view of a river facing cottage. One thing I'm very fond of and look forward to JLR properties um, is their food. It's amazing. They have vegetarian and non-vegetarian uh, options with plenty of desserts and starters to add to. A healthy diet um, with a good mix of uh, vegetables, I would say. visit I noticed they had added lot more fun activities or adventurous activities to keep the uh, kids and adults equally active. There were uh, rope walk, swing walk, the tires and another side there were swing, seesaw, um, fun stuff to play with. the 
there is Kabini River and uh, the various migratory birds that flow around to keep you company. You can always take a book and sit by here. I also noticed they were giving out coracle rides in the morning and when not in safari, note that both safari is also one of the safari included in your package. But apart from that too, the boats sometimes fly by, um, not to the safari zone, but nearby you can see interesting birds and get back. good lunch and tea it was time for safari um, the forest was very rewarding Kabini has two zones and uh, you would get to go between the different zones depending upon how many safaris or how many nights you stay in the property third category of rooms they offer and uh, there are plenty of these bungalow rooms that you can opt for so there's a north east west and south bungalow so there are ample rooms in spite of that company gets sold out so uh, think plan ahead and book your rooms present here they give you a Wi-Fi password there is uh, all the toiletry available um, you have a wake-up alarm call and snacks and cookies uh, for you to devour so it's a very comfortable room and the moment you step out of the room you are in the white property that you get to walk around Cottages. So you need to go to junglelodges.com and they have so many properties around um, Karnataka. So you can just um, you know decide on which property or if you want information about the property you can look through the properties and design. But then uh, we are going to show booking of Kabini River Lodge. So just go to online booking, look for Kabini River Lodge. And if you look at the uh, info, you would get an understanding of how many meals, how many safaris planned and so forth. And um, you can just click on book now, choose your dates and decide what category of room you would want.
price shown here are for two person. If you are planning to travel solo, they will charge you 30% extra. So find that roommate and save your 30%. also have a spa if you want to rejuvenate yourself but I did not get to try it um, my pastime between the safaris I spent it around the property itself there were so many birds butterflies and um, really interesting insects uh, creepy crawlies around the property as well that kept me occupied bar um, named in memory of Papa Jones and this bar comes alive at night so does the incredibly delicious sumptuous food The night has a totally different vibe at Kabini. In spite of having so many rooms, cottages, tents, you wouldn't see so much of noise or so many people uh, walking around. So I decided to walk around the property at night and it was beautiful. There was so much of life in spite of it being night. While walking around, we came across these cute snails and also boars. Uh, so be careful when you're walking around the property. It was great to observe the million stars in the sky as well. Come morning, it was time for another beautiful, memorable safari. Kabini this time rewarded me big time. I got to see um, not just these cute elephant, but also this majestic tiger, and I had plenty of pictures of leopard sleepy leopard posing for me and uh, none of that i'm going to show here there is another video already on the channel that takes you through safari through the um, nagar holi national park or uh, kabini forest of kabini or jungles of kabini however you'd like to call it so please go check out that video After some rewarding uh, sighting, it was time to fill our tummy with yummy breakfast and then it was time to check out from jungle lodges and resorts. Um, I know this is not my last time to visit Kabini JLR and I would definitely be returning to here. So do drop your comments on um, anything that you would like to ask about Kabini. Um, and the Bangalore Mysore Expressway is so good to travel these days so 
what you are waiting for do like share subscribe to masala box travel and please do pass on this video to your friends and encourage them to go watch my life